I shit you not. I've been trying to put on lashes for about 30 minutes and I'm over it. I also use some other new products from the brand and uh... Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Barbara and I am back with a colorful look. As you see from my last few videos, I've been doing mainly fall looks and cool toned and wearable, but today we are playing in Juvia's Place. And so you know when these palettes come out, it's time to do a bold, colorful look. Before we get started, why don't you go ahead and join the family, click the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you know when I upload. And we're gonna go ahead and get started because a lot of these products are Juvia's Place and I want you guys to see how I got this look. So stay tuned and keep on watching. So we starting off looking crazy with these brows. We are going to be using more affordable products today. A lot of them are from Juvia's Place. Now, full disclosure, I filmed this already, but when I filmed it, the quality was not that great. My colors just didn't come out right and I couldn't correct them. So I'm just going to refilm it because I don't want to fight with it. I placed an order a while back, I think like during the summer for Juvia's Place because I wanted to try their foundation and they had their stuff online for like 40% off. So I picked up the foundation. I don't have boxes anymore because like I said, I did this already. I picked up one of their shade sticks and I picked up the concealer. And then I also ordered a few palettes. I ordered the blush palette, which looks like this. This is volume two. And then I also ordered the Nomad palette. I actually ordered several palettes because, guys, look how beautiful this is. Y'all know this is right up my alley. Um, they had a bunch of palettes on sale and then they had bundle deals. So I picked up, yeah, actually these three. I have four right here, but I had this one already. Nubian 2 was my first one. And then the Nubian was my second because again, I was all into my warm mattes and shimmers and now we're a little more colorful. So this is the Magic Mini. So that's what this one looks like. And then I got the Tribe palette. Oh, I had this one before already because I wanted the Nomad and it was sold out. So I ended up getting this one and now I have both. The Magic Mini and this one, the Masquerade Mini, these two were on, they were part of a bundle and it was like $25 for both of them. So yes, I'll take it. I am going to use the Masquerade Mini. So this one has these gorgeous shades in it. And I think just since I'm wearing red, maybe we'll do something with the kind of darker warmer browns and i'm i like this color right here it has a little it's like a reddish orange not sure if y'all can see it has that little bit of sparkle in it so i think we're gonna play with that but we're gonna start off with the face the foundation i had been wanting to try but i had trouble finding my shade I ended up going with 310 Burkina. I think it matched me pretty well, but again, it was during the summer and I was a lot more tan. I'm gonna prime my face with the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. I do have the original version of this and y'all heard me saying I wanted to try the Luminous one. So I went ahead and I picked that up. This foundation is super, super matte. So I have a rose oil on my face. This is the Milani Prep and Brighten Rose Face Oil. This is what I started with today because I don't wanna look like a desert. Every time my face looks really dry, my pores show a lot more. Ooh, this is very, well, my face is already a little shiny, but you can see that added a little more glow. This is what it looks like. It doesn't, it looks like it's coming off almost kind of like a gold. I 
Interesting. We're just gonna put this on my whole face. The other one I don't put all over my whole face, but I feel like this one has a little more slip to it, so well, I think it'll be all right. I don't know if there's other shades of this, but this one is in the shade Universal Glow. So now we're gonna go in with the foundation, and it does say this is the I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation, and it just says apply with a wet beauty sponge or synthetic makeup brush with a sweeping and buffing motion all over the face. So I'm gonna take about this much. This is what the foundation looks like. She is thick, thick. Oh, I might have took too much. <laughs> Because it's full coverage as this is, I probably should have started off with less, but we're going to make it work. So I'm just going to start by, that is covering everything. And yeah, the color is a little dark, but it's all right because we will fix it like we normally do. I'm gonna have to try that Uoma Beauty foundation again with a different primer because this right now, and this is also a different brush, so maybe that makes a difference, but this is gliding over my skin so much better than the other one did. I'm just gonna put this on my ears a little bit because my ears look yellow compared to my face. And since we have a ponytail, you cover that. All right, so this is what the foundation looks like. I'm definitely glad I used that oil and the putty primer, the luminous one, but everything is covered. We do not need another layer. This looks so good. And my oil and my primer is helping to give it this glow. Another good thing right now is the shade that I got for the concealer is actually too light. I got the shade 15. This is what it looks like. That is really going to help to blend all this in and help lighten up the foundation a little bit. So I'm going to just start off with a little bit and work this in like I normally do. And I will also be using this for my eye primer. I did also use this to carve out my brows. So if you notice my brows look a little more light than they normally do, that is why. I'm gonna go back in around the edges with my Beauty Blender now just to smooth everything out and blend. I'm also going to run this just along my jawline to help lighten up the color there a little bit. I do not have their powder, so I'm just going to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana Powder. Y'all have seen me use this a bunch of times. Same thing, and I'm going to set all of the areas where the concealer is. So already that helps take away some of the shine. And now I'm just gonna take my powder brush and dust that away. And then for the rest of the face, I also have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder in Deep. And this is what that looks like. And we're just gonna lightly take that in the other areas to kind of take the shine down a little bit. I'm using only a little bit because I don't want it to add any more color. We are gonna go back and add a little powder under the eyes like I normally do whenever I get ready to do my eyeshadow to help with any fallout, but I don't know that I normally have a lot of fallout with Juvia's Place, but better safe than sorry. So now for the eyeshadow. I'm going to start, hmm, there's actually not a color in here that I wanna use for a crease color. These are all pretty dark. So I'm going to go in with the blush palette and I'm going to take this shade Yara and just start in my crease for a transition shade.
For the next color, I'm gonna go in with Zulu, which is this shade down here. And then on the same brush, I'm going to take the shade Ada, Ada, A-D-A is how it's spelled, but it's this shade here. It looks very similar, so I'm kind of just curious to see. Okay, that one's a little more red. A lot of these shades look very similar. I'm just gonna swatch for you real quick. So here's Zulu, which is a matte. It's kind of light. I'm gonna add a second layer of that. So you see that there. Then here's Ada, the shade that I just put on top of it. So you can see they're different, but I feel like for a palette this size, they're too similar. I'm gonna take Burkina and Fulani and do the same, because these also look very similar. That's Burkina. I'm doing two swatches of that. Probably could have used that as a crease color, actually. I thought it was gonna be darker. And then this is Fulani, the other brown. Like these look so similar. I don't know. It's a little bit of difference, but I just feel like for the size of the palette, could have been more depth to it or something. Just make them more different. But anyway, for our lid color, we're gonna go in with Cairo and that's that pretty red with the gold shimmer. So I am just going to pack that on my lid. This is one of those shades where the glitter doesn't really stay. So it's gonna look like more of a matte. The glitter just kind of falls away. No fallout yet. I wanna see if we can build up Fulani, which look like the darker of the browns. I have a smaller brush that I can pack it on a little bit more. I don't want to have to go into another palette. Uh, and it ain't looking too promising. Not that the palette isn't, but that I'm not going to have to do that. I'm going to go into the Magic Mini since I got these together. There's only a blue and a purple, so let's see what the purple looks like. It's IFE, I believe is. Yeah, I see that's some more depth on that one. And now since we're in this palette, we're gonna take Koji, y'all these names, I'm sorry if I'm butchering them, which is this red. I'm gonna go back on my blending brush and just go around the edge of that. I'm literally, <laughs> I'm literally just winging this look, but I have to see what this color looks like. It's called Faso, Faso, F-A-S-O. This is what the shade looks like. 
It's a purple, but I feel like, ooh. I don't even know if that's gonna go, but we're gonna do it. I'm gonna put that on the inner third of my lid. And just kind of blend it into the red. I feel like I have to do this since I had to put purple, like I need an excuse for purple. That is so pretty. Do these colors go together? Mm, probably not. Are we gonna make it work? Of course. All right, so now we're gonna go back to our lid color, Cairo. And then I'm just gonna blend those together. So now I'm gonna take the smaller brush that I use the purple with. And I'm gonna go in with Zobo, which is also a purple, but I need something that's gonna help to blend these two shades here. It's not so harsh. I just had an idea because I feel like I want this shade to blend in more with Cairo. So I'm gonna go into the blush palette and I'm gonna take Solo, which is actually a shimmer shade and just lightly there. I like how that looks. All right, so now I'm gonna dust away this powder. And we are going to move into finishing the rest of our face. So for contour, I'm gonna take the shade Zara and I'm going to see if I can build that up to help carve out my cheekbones. Actually, I have the shade sick and I wasn't gonna use it because it's not quite dark enough. I got the shade Namibia. Oh Lord. I always talk crap about people. Namibia, N-A-M-I-B-I-A, -I who say stuff wrong. You can see that a little bit, but it's definitely not dark enough, but that's what happens when you order online. I looked at it and I was just like, oh yeah, that is definitely dark. That'll be too dark. It's dark enough on my nose though. So I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit, but I wanna keep most of it concentrated to use almost like a base for the powder because I know the powder is not gonna be deep enough. I mean, I added a little bit of color. It's definitely enough for my nose. All right, and then I'm gonna take the powder and just set those areas. Got enough of a little chisel going on. And I'm using the shade Zara in the blush palette. <laughs> that nose is snatched, boo. Ooh-wee. Instant nose job. For blush, I'm gonna take the shade B first, which is a very cool toned kind of berry, and I'm gonna dip lightly in there and just go right over where I contoured. 
to kind of help set that. And also for a little bit of color, but I want to use the shade Tau, Tau, T-A-U, as well. It's the red. That is a pretty color. So now we're going to go in with Tau, T-A-U, Tau, Tau. Uh, don't come for me in the comments. Or, instead of coming for me, tell me how to say it right. All right. Now, for highlighter, there is a shade in here called Zoba, which looks like this. Very bright. Ooh, it's almost like a duochrome. Yep, we're using it. I also have, which I think I've used before, the Nefertiti Loose Highlighter. But let's try something new. Or we're going to use both. That looks a lot more gold than when I swatched it. It's pretty. It's just gold. It looks so pink in the pan and it doesn't even look this warm. Like it looks like a icy pink. But y'all know that's what I like. Something that comes off a little bit different in the pan than what it actually shows. All right, we're gonna go over it with Nefertiti because why not? This is what Nefertiti looks like just in the cap. And I'm only gonna dip in the cap. She is gold too, but look at that. Okay, Barbara, get out the highlighter. <laughs> we are glowing. For eyeliner, I am going to use this Makeup Revolution, or this is the XX Revolution Flix Eyeliner. In my last video, y'all saw me struggling with that. And then there was a little button that I said you have to click at the top. I said that, and then I didn't click it. So this is what the tip looks like. It is a felt tip, which is not my favorite, but... Let's see how dark this is. This is not a bad liner at all. It actually, if it goes over like shimmery colors and it's still opaque, then you know it's a good liner. I kind of like this. It's not bad. It. The tip of it actually has a little more give than what I'm used to, so it kind of mimics a it kind of mimics a brush tip, but it's not a brush. We're just trying something different with the inner corner. All right, so I'm going to use my Ulta Beauty Matte Black Brown Automatic Eyeliner. I'm going to start with this and then I'm going to finish my bottom lash line with my colors. I normally do it the other way around, but I want to start with a darker base this time and just smudge out the bottom as opposed to actually like putting a lot of color. So I'm going to go in with that dark purple we have in our crease and just smudge right on top of that. And then I'm gonna come down with the Zobo color, which is the other kind of purple that we put to blend in right underneath that. So we're gonna blow this out a little bit more. And then for the inner corner or inner third, we're gonna go in with Cairo. Okay. 
then we are going to finish the very inner corner with that gorgeous Faso, Faso light purple multi-chrome I'm gonna finish the rest of my eyes because I'm just gonna put on my mascara and my lashes and then I'll be back I shit you not I've been trying to put on lashes for about 30 minutes and I'm over it. So we're not putting on lashes. I think my lashes actually look pretty good. I used the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Uncensored. And this is the waterproof one. I was going to put on my magnetic lashes because I'm literally about to go wash this off. And I've tried two pairs and neither one of them work. And I'm not putting Duo to pull my lashes out in 30 minutes. So... This is what we're working with. This is what's gonna stay. I'm gonna finish my lips, but in case you can't tell, I'm extremely annoyed. Anyway, to finish lips, I'm gonna use my NYX Espresso Liner because we are doing a colorful lip. Finish this on a good note, but I don't have a liner that will actually match the color. So we're just going with something neutral to give our lips a shape and then we will blend everything together. These are the three options. And I'm gonna start off with the really, really purple one. I'm just putting that on the outside first. And then I'm going to go in. I'm sorry, I didn't even tell you what it is. This is the NYX Wicked Lippy in WIL01 Betrayal. And then I'm going to go over that with this NYX. It says Lip Smacking Fun Color in the shade Violet Ray. This one's a lot creamier. <laughs> fun fun and then I'm gonna blot this just a little bit to make sure I don't get anything on my teeth and then I'm gonna go over it with hunk since I don't have a gloss that I want to use this is the final look I don't know if this is fall. I don't know what this is, but I just wanted to play in some color. How can you not with Juvia's Place? I mean, both of these palettes, the Magic Mini and then the Masquerade Mini, both of these palettes are extremely colorful. So at the end of the day, I kind of felt like I had to. I mean, there was no way I was gonna look at this and come out with a regular gold, bronze, any kind of look like that. So this is where we finish. The star of this whole show was supposed to be the foundation and the concealer. And as you can see, I think the color matches pretty well. Looks like it to me from here, but the fact that this was a lot lighter than what I normally go with helps a lot to match everything together. This is definitely matte, and I am glad that I used my oil and putty primer underneath. I'm just smoothing out my wrinkles because I was having my eyebrows up so much trying to put those damn lashes on. I love how this looks. This is very, very, very full coverage. Like, no question about it. This is gonna go in my top drawer for when I wanna do a full glam look. Absolutely love it. Love how everything turned out. Sucks about the lashes, but it is what it is. It's just one of those days. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the look. I definitely had fun creating it and it was time to do something a little colorful. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you know every time I upload. I'm going to go wash my face and get in bed. I will see you guys next time. Bye.